Some of the coldest air of the fall season is on its way, and we'll also preview Halloween as well, so stick around to today's weather forecast as we go over all of that and much more. Thank you guys so much for joining me here, Weather on the Go, all your weather coverage. If you are new to the channel and have not yet subscribed, it's absolutely free to do so, and you get detailed weather breakdowns across North America and the tropics right here on this channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and the thumbs up button if you do like today's content as well i do appreciate it so going back over the past three days we did see some active weather across the northeast as expected with some heavier rains but the majority of the western half or so of the country was very quiet over the past three days lots of dry weather but zooming it in across the northeast from maine down through vermont new hampshire here into eastern new york state much of massachusetts connecticut rhode island and then all the way down into parts of new jersey we did see widespread rainfall totals of one to up to three inches of rain so a nice drenching across these areas over the past couple of days but as we go through this week we're going to see some changes and some major changes at that in the weather pattern look at all the active troughs out across the northeastern pacific basin here and these are going to track down to the east southeast and into the mainland united states as we go through late october and they will be a series of troughs that move across not just one not just two but several of these will create storm systems across the middle of the country through late october but before we talk about that, let's look at our temperature anomalies here through the week. We're going to be well above normal. Starting today, you can see the heartland of the country centered across the central plains, the mid-Missouri Valley, the Midwest. We're going to be seeing temperatures around 20 to 25 degrees above average here today. Then as we go to the end of the week, we have our first cold front of several that will be moving through over the next several days. That will be moving through. We're going to see a big cool down up here into Montana, the Dakotas, southern portions of Canada, temperatures up there will be a good 10, 20, even 30 degrees below average. But ahead of that cold front, the Ohio Valley, the Mid-Atlantic by Friday will be 20 to 30 degrees above average. So definitely seeing a change in the air masses ahead or behind of that cold front. So looking at those temperatures today, yes, we're going to warm up quite nicely across the middle of the country. This is kind of weird. I know for this time of year, we're seeing mid to upper 80s in Kansas portions of Kansas City up to 85, 81 for the high today there into Des Moines and 62 even up into Chicagoland. So it's going to be fairly warm as we go into today. And then that doesn't stop there. Even on Wednesday, we're warming up further. The Chicago lakefront all the way up to Milwaukee, Green Bay, solidly in the 60s there on the western side of Lake Michigan, 63 in the Twin Cities, 73 in Des Moines, and 80 there in St. Louis as we go into Wednesday. And then by the end of the week, by Friday, you can clearly see where that cold front is. And ahead of it, temperatures like in St. Louis could be around 88 degrees, but behind the cold front, significantly colder you only have to go a couple hundred miles from st louis there towards des moines and you drop temperatures by about 30 to 40 degrees so it's definitely going to be a sharp cold front by the end of the week and with that transition the clash of the air masses we could be seeing some rounds of heavy showers and thunderstorms with possibly some marginally severe storms in there as well with mainly damaging winds but the main story is going to be additional rainfall. This is rainfall on top of what we saw just a week or so ago, where we saw one to three inches of rain. We're going to see another one to three inches of rain piling up, and this time in a more widespread zone from the Texas Hill Country up through Oklahoma here into Kansas, into Missouri, the Hawkeye State up here into Iowa, the Badger State of Wisconsin, getting through the land of Lincoln here in Illinois, and then all the way up there toward portions of southeastern Canada a widespread zone of very heavy rain. But notice, across the southeast and the mid-Atlantic, for the most part, we're going to be quite dry between now and next Monday. So definitely seeing that through the next seven days. And yes, there is enough cold air on the backside where we do have the chance for snow and accumulating snow. The first significant system of the year to bring some widespread snow up here across the northern Rockies and the far northern plains. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a few inches of snow into North Dakota 
Now, some of these totals might be overdone a little bit. So when you're looking at the key underneath these model runs, this is the GFS model, the American run, and it is showing, you know, a foot of snow. Just take this with a grain of salt right now, but just know areas where you see the footprint of snow is pretty nice looking here, especially when looking at the European model. The ECMWF does agree with the GFS showing that heavy snow across Montana, down into Wyoming, the Dakotas, and on up into southern Canada over the next seven days. So some accumulating snow will be possible, but the amount and extent of that is still unknown. But there is a known here is that next week, by a week from today, yeah, we're going to have a very strong front move south and temperatures could be 40 degrees below average across the southern plains as we get towards that Halloween time frame. So it's going to be a cold Halloween, folks. And just previewing that the day before Halloween there next Monday, a week from today, this is on October 30th. These are your high temperatures across the United States. Yes, only the 20s for highs is very likely up here into the Dakotas. Minnesota getting back into the Rockies, only 30s and 40s across the Ohio Valley, the Midwest down even into the Southern Plains. Amarillo, we may struggle to get out of the 30s or 40s by next Monday, so very, very chilly air. The Southeast remaining ahead of that front, so temperatures will be in the 80s there around the Gulf Coast and up through the Carolinas on Monday. Waking up, though, on Tuesday morning with the snowpack potential up here. Remember, snowpack we uh, makes the temperatures colder. So temperatures will be down possibly into the single digits, the teens potentially across the Northern Plains and even Southern Canada on Tuesday morning, waking up and will only arrive into the twenties and thirties for highs for Halloween with much of the country. Well, below normal at this point, you only have to go down into Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, or Florida to really see the eighties and nineties across the country. By the time we get toward Halloween itself, but then as we go into early November, we still have that cold air sticking around. It does have some staying power. So once it's here, it's here for quite some time. And this goes all the way through Sunday, uh, uh, November 5th. So we're definitely seeing this continuing through for the foreseeable future across the United States and the active weather as well across the West and the Southern United States. And this is nice to see because these are the areas that desperately need the rain with the ongoing severe, extreme and exceptional drought will take it. So looking here quickly at the tropical weather update, we still have Hurricane Tammy spinning across the Northwest Atlantic Ocean right here to the North and East of Puerto Rico. The, un the cone of uncertainty from the National Hurricane Center has this as a hurricane through Wednesday evening and then turning back west toward Bermuda or just south of Bermuda as a mid-grade tropical storm by the end of the week. So it's going to take some time to do that, but we'll watch it here. So looking here today, the system just to the north and east of Puerto Rico, not really having too much of an impact there to Puerto Rico. Maybe some rough surf, maybe some lighter showers there on the eastern side of the island. But other than that, we're not really seeing too much impact there on Puerto Rico. It's going to be moving away from the Lesser Antilles and the Caribbean as we go toward Wednesday up over the open waters of the Northwest Atlantic. And then it's going to start to boomerang itself back to the West, either over or just South of Bermuda there. As we go into the end of the week, this is on Friday, October 27th. And then by the time we get toward the end of the weekend, we could be talking about possibly a depression moving in toward portions of the Bahamas and then toward Florida. So, we'll be able to keep an eye on that over the next several days. Just remember, folks, the waters are very warm out here, so there is a lot of warmer water temperatures. This system can hold its own for quite some time, especially as it sits over the warmer waters for days and days and days, and then it moves back to the west over the warm water. We're still going to have to keep an eye on this as it moves back toward the Bahamas here and potentially towards southern Florida by next week. And looking at the hurricane season across the Atlantic, we're still still dropping down a little bit further toward the end of hurricane season. But note, we are still in late October, so it is still possible to get those tropical depressions, those tropical storms, hurricanes, and even, who knows, maybe even another major hurricane before the hurricane season is over. So definitely be sure to stay updated on the latest weather forecast, whether it's from me, the National Weather Service, or even the National Hurricane Center. It's always good to be prepared ahead of all these systems. Well, thank you so much for watching. Hit that share button down there to share this video on social media. I do appreciate that. Uh, get the word out to friends and family. I do appreciate it. If you like today's video, give it a thumbs up down below. And I hope everybody has a great rest of their Monday out there.